Okay, hi guys. So, new week, new video. I'm going to try and do these at least once a week. Um, there are a few things I want to touch on before I start doing hair tutorials. Uh, purely because most of my hair is wet set. Um, only since going blonde have I really started playing with heat. As when my hair was red, it just it would not hold at all. Um, so tonight basically I'm going to be talking to you about the different ways that I wet set my hair. I've got three primary methods that I use. Um, the first method which is gives me personally the best results but unfortunately is quite uncomfortable to sleep in is Swiss rollers um, which are a bristle roller so basically they look like this. So you've got the hollowed section which has the bristles through it. Um, I like these, you don't get a dent, so basically when you curl the hair up in it, you have a little pin like this, and you pop the pin through. So there's nothing actually clamping down on the hair. Um, a lot of my really good sets um, are done with these. I do have a hood dryer, so Nowadays, if I'm going out somewhere special or somewhere nice, I'll do a Swiss roller set and sit under it and let it set before I do my makeup so that my hair is nice and fresh. Um, my second method that I use, uh, this is probably my most common purely because it's the most comfortable, is sponge rollers. So sponge rollers are basically, you know, they're a bit of sponge, they're on a stem which goes in a hole and you curl your hair up and you clip it. The downside to these is that they can give you a dent in your curl. Um, I personally don't mind for the comfort of being able to sleep as Swiss rollers. Sometimes I can sleep in them but the next day my head is quite sore and there are some nights where I've tried to sleep in them and my head hasn't kind of... Mentally I haven't been able to push past it so I've ended up changing to sponge. Um, for a beginner, I'd really recommend sponge rollers. They're pretty foolproof. Um, they come in different sizes. Um, if you get a basic method down, you're pretty much okay. The other method um, which I use for setting my hair is, I'm just gonna grab this quickly, is pin curls. Pin curls I played a lot with when I had um, red hair purely because um, I only discovered sponges like sponge rollers later down the track um, so now that I've got blonde I am trying to play with it a bit more because my sets are holding a lot better um, for me when I pin curl I'm to a point nowadays where if I want to use my fingers I can and it's not actually that bad but for a beginner, I'd really recommend investing in one of these. It's a pin sculptor tool. You can find them on eBay. I think I paid $16.50 for mine plus postage. And it's basically a round um, comb. And it's got two sizes, so you've got a large and a small. And it means that all your curls are uniform and you curl it up and you place it. I personally use pin curl clips, which are... To hold mine just because I find bobby pins on my hair especially when it's wet slide a lot and the actual curl for me tends to move before I can get the bobby pin through whereas these are just straight on um, so when I set my hair if I'm hood setting it or if I'm pin curling it I will set it pretty much wet but again I do have a hood dryer so I'll dry it off before I actually go to bed um, sponge rollers I have my hair dry and I spray it with a spray bottle because I find that if even if I just overspray a little bit my hair won't dry everyone's hair is different it's a lot of trial of error in learning how to pin curl and set your hair um, and everyone's hair is different I really can't stress this enough um, what works for my hair isn't gonna work for someone else my hair is incredibly difficult um, a lot of the time what it actually looks like isn't what I was planning it's just what ended up happening and there are days where it completely fails and I have to come up with something else uh, I'd recommend also as well using a setting lotion um, if your hair doesn't like holding curl very well I would recommend stay away from serums I started with a serum and I found that it 
made my hair very heavy which meant that my curls didn't hold very long. Um, one that I absolutely love that I've been using a lot of to the point that I have two and you can see how uh, much I've gone through it um, is the Luscious Locks Setting Spray by Miss Ruby Rabbit. Um, one spray is literally all I need and I can reactivate it just by wetting my hair the next day when I reset it. So I'm going to ask what kind of tutorials in regards to hair do you guys want? What do you want to know in regards to how I do my hair? Um, is one like tonight something you'd like to know how to do? I've already done a basic victory roll but would you like to know how to do something like this as well? Um, I get a lot of comments on my everyday sets. Is that something you'd like? I'd love to hear from you about what you'd actually like to see me do on my YouTube channel as I'm still kind of new to it and finding my feet. Um, again, happy to talk about clothes. I want to do some posts about um, anxiety, um, ways of managing it. Um, being anxious and being a pinup, they seem kind of counterproductive, I find. Um, dressing in pinup clothing, you get a lot of attention when you're out and about, which as someone with anxiety can actually be really daunting. But at the same time, it's very empowering. Um, so they're just a few things that I've got in mind at the moment. But if you'd like to let me know any other things you'd like to know, I'd be happy to talk about it. So just really short and sweet basically tonight. I'm going to leave it there. But I hope to talk to you all again next week. Okay, bye.